Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and you're watching Sewscape. If you've never watched one of my videos before, hi, I'm Carly. I like to sew from the Berta Style magazine and I want to show you everything that I made in February. So this month was really fun. February magazine was a little bit late. So, um, I ended up sewing some of my wish list items throughout the past year that I didn't get around to because I sewed too much from that month already. So, the first two items that I made this February were from the June issue. Yes, it was June 2022 that I had quite a few things on my list that I wanted to make. So, the first thing that I made was the Cotton Trousers 101. So in this model, it's supposed to feature a little like tie front band, like a waistband that has a um, bias cut piece attached to it and you attach the other piece to the waistband and then you can kind of tie it and it's like a built in belt. I really love the idea. So I started sewing up these pants, I got to the part where you attach the bias binding and I was using this gorgeous thrifted corduroy but my sewing machine just could not handle all the layers of the bias binding and then actually it wasn't even bias binding it was just sewn together and then flipped out like a tube like a strap almost but my sewing machine couldn't handle all the layers of the waistband and then all the layers of the bias binding to kind of flip it over so the edges were all finished so i decided to just kind of scrap that idea i put in kind of a classic um, button fly classic waistband and I followed my regular tutorial that I do like I always sew zipper flies the exact same way and this has happened to me twice where something weird happens and an extra fold of fabric gets in there and it just looked terrible and because it was you know pink fabric and it was right on the crotch where that kind of mistake was. I was ready to scrap the whole project. I was like, I am done with these. They're not bringing me joy anymore. They are going in the work in progress pile and I'm not coming back to them. But that's not the kind of sewist I am. I've been really good at kind of finishing everything that I've started and I wasn't gonna let this one go. So I seam ripped out that whole fly closure. I had to re-sew it three times. Third time was the charm, I got it. But I actually had to follow like the Berta style instructions of how they like to sew the zipper and following the measurements instead of kind of doing it the easy cheater way. And it worked out great, it was amazing and I ended up fixing another fly like that and really once you kind of know their method it's actually quite easy to kind of go through and fix any fly that you need to. So I have a couple pairs of pants from when I first started sewing. I think I'm going to go through and do a little seam ripping and maybe fix a couple of those flies. So these pants I made a size 42 grading out to a 44 and you know, I keep saying, oh, I need to make pants that are more roomy, that are baggier, that fit me a little bit better. But I honestly feel like I took these in an extra inch and I could still probably take them in another inch. I have to wear a belt with them. If I was to adjust anything about this pattern, I would lift the back rise by probably about an inch. I find it drags a little bit in the back. And then because I didn't have that tie front closure on, I attached belt loops instead. And the places where I attached the belt loops, I put them like where the darts are and then where the pockets open at the front. And I feel like I'm going to adjust those two just so they're a little bit closer in the middle of the front. And then probably closer in the middle of the back too because I'm finding my belts want to come up over my button in the front and they want to come up over the middle and the back. Either that or I have to add a fifth belt loop and just space them out even more. So that is something that I want to do in the future. I still have a little bit of that fabric if I want to make new belt loops or anything like that. But for now, they're great. I'm wearing them. They're full length pants, which I love. As much as I've been sewing a lot of angle pants lately, it's nice to have like one nice warm long pair of pants. So I've been wearing them a ton. They're constantly in the wash and that has been delaying this video. 
So then the next thing that I moved on to sewing was t-shirt 119 from the same issue, the June issue of Berta 2022. I made a similar version of this top that had the puff sleeves that month and I thought I would make a more classic version that is less trendy and will probably be in my wardrobe for a long time. And this was going to be my super cute kind of Valentine's outfit. So I was making a full pink outfit. I wanted to make the pants and the shirt to wear together on Valentine's Day to work. Yeah, the top is gorgeous. I made it out of a thrifted printed polyester chiffon and it's lovely. I thought, you know, the chiffon would be difficult to sew. I've had difficulty in the past, but I feel like as I'm becoming more experienced at sewing, sewing more difficult fabrics is easier. So I made this top in a size 42 and I lined the inside with a bed sheet and then I didn't line the sleeve. So I made it exactly like the pattern calls for it. Um, actually in the pattern it might say do bias binding to go around the edge and do a facing but because I was doing a full lining because the fabric was sheer I omitted all the facings and just kind of sewed it that way and then I because the lining fabric was so different than the outer fabric I top stitched the neckline and the kind of back button loop closure section just so none of that white fabric would pop out and I think it turned out really great. The only thing that bothers me about this project is the thread loop that I made to go around. The perfect pink button that I found in my stash was a little bit big. So I might kind of rip out that thri thread loop and make it fit properly and do the right size. But that's another project for another day. I wear it all the time. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's nice and bright on my skin. <laughs> And then we'll move on to what I sewed from the February issue of Berta Style. So we'll start off with the dress that I'm wearing now. So this is dress 116 from the February 2023 issue. Did I say 2022 earlier? If I did, I meant 2023. So it is this gorgeous wrap dress. I made a size 42 grading out to a 44 at the hip area just so I had maximum coverage um at the wrap portion of the dress I find this is the first like true wrap dress that I've ever made I've only ever made kind of the kind of wrap dresses that attach at the side with either like a hook or something like that um but this one has the little space opening at the side where the strap goes all the way around and you wrap it around and tie it up love I feel it's so much more secure when it's an actual wrap dress than a faux wrap dress and I feel like I have less um, wardrobe malfunctions with things kind of coming apart up at the top or at the bottom. I do find when I'm sitting I forget that the dress kind of likes to split but I haven't found it split like too crazy. It always kind of goes to a nice modest length and I look down and I'm like Whoa, let me fix that. But I've been wearing this a ton too. I've honestly worn this three times since I made it like two weeks ago. So um, I made it out of a thrifted polyester -y crepe material. I've had this in my stash for a long time and I really thought like, oh, this fabric is pretty ugly. So I was worried like, what am I gonna sew from this? But when I saw this wrap dress, I thought it would be really fun to kind of use the ombre of the fabric and do kind of like the dark to light. And so I think it works out really well. I love this dress. I wouldn't change anything about it. I went through, the facings were a little floppy just because of the fabric that I used. It is so um, slippery. So I just whip stitched that down um, the whole length of the dress. I didn't do the top because I find this is interface so it sits nicely and sometimes the edge stitching pokes out but it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I don't think I'll be whip stitching this but you never know in the future and I actually took the time instead of machine hemming this one to go through and I hemmed it by hand. I did an invisible hem so it looks really lovely. I put a lot of time and effort in this and this actually was going to be my Valentine's date dress but my son ended up sick on Valentine's Day so he was my Valentine and we stayed at home and it was a good day anyways. I made top 101 from the February 2023 issue. I had a lace top a couple years ago and I loved it so much and I just wanted to recreate it because I had kind of ripped the lace of the other one and it has ended up in the trash pile, unfortunately. Um, 
well it's in a bag I might use it as like stuffing for like a dog bed or something like that but I have um, saved all the buttons from that but the lace just had to go it was thrifted already and it was wrecked so I made this top and it is really cute I made a size 42 in this and the alteration that I made to this one was I shortened it by a couple inches I think by three inches and then I omitted the sleeve cuff just because I find when I'm having like kind of these billowy pillowy sleeves um, I'm in water all day I'm a hairstylist as my like regular job so I'm finding when I have something white and it's like puffy sleeves and I have to roll them up they don't stay rolled up so I added four inches of length to that and then folded under one inch and added an elastic cuff to that and it makes it really great and easy to wear at work or if, even if I'm at home like cleaning or doing the dishes or whatever it's very white so I feel like after a few rounds in the washing machine with my other clothes because I don't separate my whites from my darks it's going to kind of look a little bit more lived in I get a little anxious wearing white like I'm gonna get it quite dirty so yeah, I love this top. I wore it yesterday. It is lovely and everything was from my stash. I didn't have to buy anything. The lace was thrifted. The lining in the bodice was a bed sheet and then all the buttons came from my thrifted stash. And then I have been waiting on the March issue of Berta Style. It's a little bit late. I think um, everything has been a little late lately so uh, our poster system is wild right now. So to kill time waiting for uh, my next issue of Berta Style, I've actually been doing a couple of the little scrap busting crafty projects. So I made a little bow for my hair to go along with this dress. So I tried to follow the instructions in the magazine but my brain was getting confused between inches and centimeters and I mixed up how I cut it and I made a big mess like the bow was this big it was huge I for sure doubled it I did it by accident so I put that on the back burner for a little bit and then came back to it and I followed a tutorial here on YouTube on how to make a hair bow so I made this tiny it's pretty cute I wish it was a little bit bigger but it's kind of what I could salvage from what I had done so it's a little hair bow I don't know if I would wear it with the dress or if I would wear it with something else let me know what you think in the comment section below if it goes with the outfit or if it looks too childish and then the last thing that I worked on this month was the fanny pack or the shoulder bag as they call it in the magazine so I have not been on the fanny pack train since they've become fashionable again I think I have quite I have a chest so I feel like now with people wearing the fanny pack over the chest that it's like a little bit bulky on me but I had some extra fabric and I thought I could put a really like feminine fun twist on it because I am not a sporty kind of person and I feel like the fanny pack is quite sporty so I made it out of this stretch denim that I put interfacing on so that it was no longer stretchy. I had a really difficult time. It's a little crazy, a little asymmetrical, but I feel like it's fine. Um, no one will be looking that close. The finishing on the inside is not great either, but I'm planning on making it a bit better. I'm seeing if I'm going to wear it enough for me to justify going in and making it look pretty on the inside. So let me know what you think if someone with a chest can wear a fanny pack over their chest. So for the strap, a friend of mine had actually given me a purse last year and it had the perfect little um, strap for it. So I hadn't been using the strap on the purse so I put that on the fanny pack. It doesn't really match but it's nude and the gold matches the gold details that I put on the bag. So um, I think it works but I might end up buying just like a gold chain like they had in the magazine on their version and doing that but for now I think this is perfect and see if I wear it and then maybe make some upgrades. And that is everything that I made this February 2023. Thank you guys all so much for watching I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos and more of my Berta makes. And I hope you guys all have the most wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.